Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we will be talking about object detection in Python using MediaPipe. So this is going to be the first implementation video in this series. Um, mostly what I'll be doing in this uh, particular video is that I'll be getting into the basic nitty gritty of all the functions that are generally used, but mostly it is um, the code example that has already been given in this particular uh, you can go to this link okay you can and the one i'm showing right now this link okay the code example that has been there in this particular link in the collab notebook that it opens is mostly what i have used because i think that particular example is the easiest to explain and even understand the particular uh, the implementation of uh, object detection in python okay in python uh, in uh, media pipe so let's go to the code example first so basically what you'll do is first install uh, media pipe okay so it's not directly installed and then you import these particular uh, libraries obviously time is there to time the function and these particular libraries are going to help us so um, we will import media pipe as empty then from media pipe dot task we are going to import python and then from media pipe dot tasks dot python we are going to import vision okay so these are the things that will be useful we will be importing these two in other vision tasks as well okay now this is where you will download the model okay so the model will not come directly you will have to <clears throat> download it so um, let's first see the models okay so there are many models the first one efficient that light zero model is the recommended one which we have actually downloaded over here and uh, according to the do documentations these models they strike they you know they, they have a let's say a trade off between speed and accuracy okay so between latency which is speed and accuracy and this particular model the recommended model it tries to strike a balance between latency and accuracy which means that it is accurate also at the same time it's not very slow so these are the two things uh, the model was trained on coco data set so i have been planning to uh, you know start another series maybe not now but in some time i'll be starting a series on data sets you know we will be getting deep into the data sets and seeing <clears throat> so data uh, coco data set has 80 object labels so it's a very famous data set in uh, object detection okay so there are three versions of efficient debt light there's int 8 there's float 16 and float uh, 32 basically what is the difference is that you will so in this case uh, int 8 since int takes uh, fewer bytes or bits in order to save the or to say variables if you create a variable in int that is going to take less space than a variable in float so all the weights and biases of the model here will be int type which means the model is going to be small okay uh, so that's the idea over here and there are other models as well over here you can see but we won't be using this you can definitely try these models okay there's ssd mobile net also is there and uh, you know there is also a provision of using your own model so i had seen actually something in uh, in just today itself where you could actually use pytorch models into uh, media pipe so that will be definitely a, something i'll be covering okay so let's get back over here so you will be downloading the model i have given the link over here of all the models you know these models that you can use uh, this link will be in the description after you have downloaded the model you need to um, give the path so as you can see the model is already downloaded over here so you can go over here and copy path and then you can paste it over here okay after that you load the image so the way you load the image in media pipe in this particular case is going to be using the media pipe library mp dot image dot create from file okay and then you will pass the dog order jpeg which is something that uh, i dog dot jpeg but i like to call it dog order jpeg but i have used this uh, so many times in this particular channel it's a very famous uh not a data set photo i'm sorry okay so um what you do after that is basically you import media pipe and these are the functions that you just have to copy and paste that does not mean they don't mean anything what i am saying is that since most of you are just interested in getting this set up and using it maybe you might not interact with these a lot i will explain to you these are basically used for implementing the uh, you know setting up the parameters so these are base options so i'm i'm going to just tell you what these are generally speaking okay so this is going to help you give the model path so if you have let's say your own model or uh, you know uh, which is which you have created let's say using tensorflow pytorch or even jacks 
you can uh, you know convert it into the required format and then specify inside this what you can also do is specify gpu or cpu here okay so these are the things that you can do object detector uh, here in this case we will be using it with object detector detector options because in options we are going to as you can see here uh, maximum results with uh, equal to 5 so these are kind of like parameters that we need to set okay then running mode is equals to vision running mode dot image and score threshold basically you know, uh, the confidence score of every detection it has to be greater than 50 percent okay so these are the options that we have already set over here and after that we will be using this option in object detector okay so you come over here and then you say object detector dot create from options and then the options over here that you can see over here is here okay so we have declared options over here and inside options we had given different parameters as detector so you will be using that start uh, equal to time dot time so i'm going to use this in order to time the function to just to see how much does it take how long does it take and inside obviously you can see we have instantiated this uh, this particular class as as detector and then we have used detected or detect this is how you will uh, pass this image that we had taken from above over here if you remember we had uh, read that image mp underscore image we have used that particular image over here and then you're passing it to the model and then you are getting detection dot uh, detection underscore results and then you try to find out how much time does it take so it takes 0 0.18 seconds which is very very good and this is a warning which we do not care about right now okay so if you print a detection dot result just uh, like a raw printing you will get this you can see obviously that there has been some detections there is a bounding box and you know category equal to let's say display name category name is a bicycle so you know there is a bicycle and we remember from the image there was a bicycle here you can see there is a car yes we also had a car and you see over here there was a dog and yes it was dog.jpg dog dot jpeg, which means that all the three things have been found and you can also see the bounding box over here right so you can see over here origin x so that is the top left corner origin y is the top right corner and uh, yeah top top left corner x coordinate origin x and top left corner y coordinate you will have origin, uh, origin y then obviously width of the bounding box and height of the bounding box so basically you have x y width height format okay so for all these things however this is a little cluttered okay so what i did was first of all uh, you could do a dir over here to see what are the options so for example let's say you have dir of detection underscore result okay so once you do that you will have certain output over here so basically it will help you to see as you can see detections are over here which means it can be written as dot detections so once you do but uh, do that thing over here you can see again you get that list but it's a little bit less cluttered okay but let's say you still want to understand it clearly I have just seen what is the type of that and it's a, it's a list and since lists have length so I tried to find out the length which came out to be 3 and these are basically the number of uh, detections that we had so number of objects so here what I have done is for every uh, let's say data or the detection in this results then print now you will see and I have also given a space so that the output can be uh, there is a line space between them so they say you, there is a detection and then there is a bounding box okay in the bounding box as I said origin x is the top left corner so um, if you see over here this one over here let's say this is your bounding box let's say there is a person inside that has been uh, detected obviously uh, so it has a bigger head over here whatever okay so this over here is uh, origin of x comma origin of y okay and this obviously is the height and this obviously is the width okay so this is how so in order to get this coordinate what you do well you have origin of x then you add the width to it and you have origin of y and then you add the height so this is the coordinate of this particular uh, point now um, so as you can see over origin x origin y height width all those things are there and then you can also get the category so um, you can get the confidence score over here. you can see it's 65 percent confident which is okay because our threshold over here if you remember is 0 0.5 if you remember over here our threshold was score threshold so all the detections over 50 percent confident should be here okay and the category name is bicycle so category name over here let me go a little bit here and you can see the category name is bicycle we don't have key points because we don't need key points okay key points we don't have 
and then the second one is the car third one is the dog now let's try to print those okay let's try to visualize so there is this this function is already there in the um, official uh, example so i have just copied and pasted from there because it's so simple literally you're just doing two things for every detection that uh, data here they have to use detection they are drawing the bounding box so how again how did they find they find the bounding box so they um, b box of detection dot bounding box okay then the start point is your uh, top left corner so that's a b box origin x comma b box origin y and endpoint i had told you you just have to take b box origin x and add width to it and b box origin y uh, you take uh, you add a height to it so that's you get the end point now cv2 dot rectangle you know how to implement it start point end point and the text color finally a uh, text color is uh, uh, written over here you can see over here text color is red so 255.0.0 comma at zero zero dot two zero and after that you can again put the um, since we had also found bicycle and uh, dog and car remember so category you just take the category name and then category name over here you get it then probability if you want to print this you can take the category dot score then you append both of that and you know have the final text then you also determine the text location again depending on a little bit you take the top left corner over here b box uh, b box dot origin x and then you add margin over here margin i think is 10 pixels and same thing for uh, your uh, y coordinate okay after that you use the cv2 dot put text function and finally print that so once you do that and then you can you have to use this patch because uh, cv2 dot show will not work in google collab you will have to use cv2 underscore imshow okay and then you copy the image you do a deep copy so there's there are two types of copy deep copy and shallow copy you do a deep copy over here so that you there is uh the different memory that's created for that particular now i don't want to get too deep into this concept but it's very important okay then you use the visualize function over here if you remember we have uh, this function is actually called visualize function that we have already declared and those things that have been declared over here you pass you pass in the annotated image and then uh, here you just pass the image and then and along with that you pass the detection results once you get that you again make uh, convert it to bgr to rgb because uh, cv2 actually uses bgr and we are mostly comfortable with rgb after that you basically do a cv2.imshow and finally you get the detections over here if you can see there is a dog there is a bicycle and then there is a truck or a car whatever it is and uh, you know the probability associated probability is also there so 0 0.6 over here 0 0.65 over here and 0 0.63 over here uh, apart from that you know um, as i told this uh, object detector options so there are many other options over here uh, score threshold is something that we had used base options again you know we will not be using that much over uh, we will not be getting into uh, that depth over here because we don't need it category allow list uh, you know these things if you just read over here they are just you know, just for reading right if you want to use it it's, it's easy if you just read it you'll understand what it is okay so nothing very complicated over here same thing in the object detector again it uses the object detector options in our case uh, again nothing too great over here okay these are the models that i've already told you and this is a simple guide from where you know i tried first implementing this particular uh, these all code examples but it, uh, you know i was able to use the Co google collab link that they had over here example and that worked pretty fine and you know it, everything i have just covered so there's nothing that is too complicated and please this is an uh, this is a request if you have any questions please ask in the comment section you know i'll be more than happy to actually create a video out of your question you know because there are times where i'm just um, i have run out of ideas i don't know what to do what not what what you want what you don't want and you know whenever you post a question or uh, write a comment it definitely helps me to think in a different direction and come up with videos so video titles basically so i really i really think you like the video if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you very much and bye